Alright guys, Ledger Boy here to play some more Ratchet and Clank 2. Uh, my mother and her boyfriend are outside, so uh, pardon me if I'm, if I'm a little bit quiet. But uh, basically, I forgot two platinum bolts in the previous episode, so I'm going to try and get them. I don't know if I can get this one, because it's obviously up here and I need to... Oh, there we go. Easy. This is right after the first space limo when you take the left path, so not too hard to find. And we'll just jump off and die. I'm hoping that wasn't a checkpoint. I don't think it was. Yeah, here we go. And we'll go get the second one. And then we'll go to the next planet, whatever it is. I'll meet you there. Alright then, so the second one is in the jamming array. It's up there, I believe. If I can get on top of it without clank. Yes, I can. You can just jump straight up. Yep, there we go. And that's both of them. So, I'll meet you on... Planet Endaku. Alrighty then. For some reason, it's not doing the ship landing animations anymore. Which is kind of sad, because that's how I always start these things. Didn't even do it on, um... The Mactar result when I loaded up the game save. That's really sad, because that's typically how I've introduced every single Ratchet and Clank episode. With the ship landing. To center the, camera, tap L1. the game is sabotaging this LP by itself. I don't even have to do shitty at it, it will ruin it. It will ruin its own system. And break its own patterns just to fuck me around. And I'm not even. Con it's, see, it's not even. It, 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 it's. Making me focus on something else, and it's ruining my concentration. I'm really hoping my mother doesn't come in here. In case she couldn't figure it out, I am like 19 years old, so I don't exactly have my own house. <laughs> I have closed the door, but I'm not sure if that will be enough. I usually record when they're not here, so... I don't, have to I don't have to worry about them making noise. That's like the only reason I don't do it when they're here, because I could be disturbed at any time, and you we can't have disturbances, man. I'm like Asperger's. I go ape shit <laughs> when there's disturbances. I mean, you saw how ape shit I went just now with the ship not landing. I mean, that was a simple one. Not actually Asperger's. <laughs> I do know a guy who is Asperger's. Actually lives next door to us. Went to primary school with him. He actually has a job and I don't, so I really can't say anything. <laughs> he also studied for his HSC exams, his final exams. Which he's having, I think, now. I never studied for him. I did, I studied for one class, but that was because I hadn't done note the notes at all. So, it doesn't really count. I did actually quite well in that exam, surprisingly, so the work did pay off. When I do work, it does pay off, and I'm very, very lazy. So oftentimes I don't do work. When I start doing work, and I get, I can get really into it, and I don't, I actually hate being disturbed when doing work. That's the main thing. I don't. It's not that I don't like doing work; it's that I hate being disturbed. And when I'm in the middle of playing a game or browsing something on YouTube, I want to get the whole fucking thing done in one go. Th you know, that's why I don't split these videos up. Holy shit! Wow. I just hit him onto the next platform, that's pretty insane. I'm also... I don't know why I'm doing this, I have fucking weapons. <laughs> I'm just thinking this is so boring, just... Why don't you shoot some things, Ratchet? You fucking noob. See, the, the whole pattern, the whole system's breaking down, man. The whole system's breaking down. It's coming to an end. Did have a pretty good day today friend of mine who uh, lives in a different state, who's my friend in high school, really close friend of mine, came down today to see basically us, just, you know, the rest of her friends, and get some stuff done for some overseas traveling she's doing, see her boyfriend in the Netherlands. So I got to see her, which was pretty awesome. She gave me a GameCube which was just unexpected, like, a few days before she came down. A few days before today. 
we were just on MSN talking, she was like, hey, you want a GameCube? I'm like, what the fuck do I need a GameCube for? <laughs> and she's just like, oh, well, I have a GameCube, and I don't need, need it anymore, because, like, she has GameCube games, but she also has a Wii, and because she's going over to the Netherlands with a boyfriend, her boyfriend also has a Wii. He's a gamer as well, and she doesn't need a GameCube. And you're not going to get much for a GameCube, you know, so she just thought, oh, I'll just give it to you, seeing as you're, you're my friend. I'm like, alright, I'll take it. I have no GameCube games either, but <laughs> could not have a GameCube. Oh shit, I didn't drop that in the right place. See, I've got this GameCube with no games, <laughs> so it's just a cube for the moment. Cube with some holes in it. Does work. I did test it out. Does work. But I went to um like when when our friends split and you know we went out and went, went wherever the hell we had to go. I went to two porn shops like porn as in P A W N, not P O R N. Two porn shops and a game store where you can trade in games. The two porn shops had like one of the porn shops had quite a few GameCube games but nothing worth buying. Where am I? Where the fuck am I taking this? This doesn't have to go here. <laughs> it's got to go in another room. Uh, one of the pawn shops had quite a few games, but nothing worth buying. The other pawn shop had like one game, like The Sims or something. The game shop had three or four games, but again, nothing I wanted to buy. Not shitty games. I think they were like what Mario Party Five, Metroid Prime. Fuck, wrong place again. Metroid Prime or whatever the GameCube installment of Metroid is called, and Resident Evil 4. So, nothing I wanted to get. I was looking for Smash Brothers Melee or Mario Kart Double Dash or Super Mario Sunshine. They had none of those, so, fuck. So yeah, that was kind of annoying that I couldn't find any GameCube games. No, I had to order Smash Brothers Melee off the internet, off eBay. I thought I'd gotten off eBay. I've I've ordered so much Nintendo stuff off eBay, like so much stuff for the N64, that I I've, I've kind of wanted to restrict my usage of it. Like I've got three grand sitting in a bank account that I don't use. If I'm not careful, all of that will go to eBay. <laughs> I don't want to waste it all on eBay, I'd like to have some of it to, you know, spend on uni fees and going places with my friends and, you know, food and drink in case I want something. Not just fucking Mario Party and stuff. Because <laughs> I am totally the type of person who, when they has money, when, when they has money. Yeah. I do creative writing, by the way. I work with language 24 hours a day, but I can't do grammar. And you don't even do grammar, you use grammar. Fuck me, man. I'm horrible. See? The whole system is breaking down. The economy's collapsing. Fundamentalist and radical extremism is rampant. And I can't even speak properly. Whereas this is what I'm in university studying 24 hours a- well, not 24 hours a day, but... For a vast- for a great deal of my time. Something is very wrong. Okay, Clank. Don't- Move. I'm coming down. Whoa. I totally forget what I was talking about. God damn it. Yes, I don't want to waste all my money spending you up and running again. spending it on the internet. Because if I'm the type of person who, if they have money, if I have money, I will spend it. If money is in my wallet, I will buy something with it. Even if I don't really need it or want it. Like, I bought Mario Party 1 the other day. And when I got to my house, I was kind of like, did you need to buy that? Did you really need to? I mean, you have it on the emulator. You can play it for free if you want. But you just had to spend the money. You just had to have the cartridge in your hand. And what was insane, I got that cartridge, put it in the N64. Everything has been unlocked. And I mean everything. 100% complete. There are a few odds and ends that they didn't get. But usually when I buy a cartridge, they've only managed to do most of it. Sometimes there's no game save at all. Sometimes there's like this half completed shit. This motherfucker did everything. They even had 99 lives in the, um. The. For anyone who's played it, the, the minigame island.
they had 99 lives in that motherfucker. Do you know how many times you'd have to play the minigames to get 99 lives? He would have had to play the shit out of it or use like a game shark or something. It's insane. I don't know why you would bother. And he had like 999,999 nine, 9, bolts in the... bolts. Holy god, I'm getting everything mixed up. Video game dyslexia. I think I am dyslexic, to be honest. I think I actually have it. I do it. I mix up words and things all the time. But anyway, he got like 999,999 uh, coins in the game. So I'm thinking either he's used some kind of cheat thing, or he's actually played, or she, you know, who knows. Whoever sold me the game, or whoever, whoever the person who distributed the game bought the game off, Whoever's played this game has played the fuck out of it. <laughs> it's just crazy. Not gonna have any luck with Super Smash Bros. Melee because they use memory cards, and I don't have a memory card for this thing. This GameCube of mine. The controls are funky, though. They're really weird. <laughs> like... It's more or less the same layout as an Xbox controller, with regards to the placement of the analog sticks and the, um... What do you call it? the the buttons and everything. The triggers are really strange though. Like the, the PS3 triggers and the Xbox and Xbox 360 triggers, they kind of just fold down, they, they just fold in. You just press one end in and it just kind of sounds like a an axis, a pivot. So it's got a central like folding point, collapse point. The GameCube triggers are really big and fat and they like, they curve around your fingers and you you push them in and they're really plasticky. And you push them straight in, they don't bend at an angle. It's really strange. I spent like two minutes just pressing them in. Because they were that weird. That's what I do with my free time. Way to go, Clank. Yeah, that'll be fun, playing some GameCube games. My break. Did great. Now Let's go get that experiment back. Uh, speaking of... Actually, this isn't related at all, so not... So speaking of something else, <laughs> to completely destroy the point of that uh, segue, I got partnership... Not got partnership. Got offered partnership from a completely different source. So this is like the fourth offer I have. These guys are called Necessity Gaming. Necessity Gaming. Um... And they offered me partnership about a fourteenth, so yeah, about a week ago. And I'm like, all right. Well, I emailed the dude from what you call it, TGN. That guy didn't get back to me, so I'm thinking, okay, that that offer's gone. <laughs> Took too long. You snooze, you lose. All right, let's go with this, with this necessity gaming guy. I looked on the website, they have the same zero tolerance policy on copyright, so I'm like, oh fuck, I'm gonna run into this problem again. Because this is still the number one issue for me, is the copyright. Well, I'm like, alright. We'll see, we'll investigate this. And I responded to the guy, like, straight away, so I'm like, alright, oh, here's my email, let's get some talking happening. Um, and in the meantime, went to the website and found, didn't find very much. TGN had a lot more, uh, I think they're a much bigger network and they're a much more established network. Necessity Gaming is much newer, from what I'm reading. They also have less, uh, lower requirements. Yeah. I love how in the message they sent me, the guy sent me, whoever it was, he said, um, or whoever sent, whoever sent it said, we're a newer network, but we offer more than the other ones. It's like, if you're newer, and, you're, and they stated in the message that they, they only needed like 333 views a month, TGN needed like a thousand views a month. So, they evidently have less of a requirement, so they can't be as premium if they require less. That's just a simple kind of mathematical, you know, induction or inference if, you know, just like if you buy something, if it costs less than a similar product, it's probably of lesser quality, you know. Either that or you're just getting ripped off, you know, whatever. My point is that they, they probably don't offer as much as TGN, and in terms of the money, I think it's about the same, but I, I don't care about the money. They said like a 2 to $6 a month thing, 
So to average it out, that's about four bucks a month for every thousand views, which means about 120 bucks a month, which is fine, cool. But um, again, I'm more I'm more concerned with the rest of it than the, the money. And which is, oh fuck, where are they coming from? <laughs> Shit! Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh no, another weapon I can't use. That's like the only weapon I fucking have. Oh no, I got nothing. Yep, I got nothing. All right, wrench time. <laughs> Going all melee. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? They didn't even touch me, man. Damn that hit detection. That's awful. So right, anyway, as I was saying, this guy he got back to me and he emailed me and said, you know, uh, we'd like to offer you a contract and blah 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 blah. And email me any questions you have. So I'm like, alright, I'll I can ask this guy questions. That's good. Fuck. Don't wanna die, damn it. I'm gonna show off my mag skills. My mag skills. Mad fucking skills, bro. Skills that pay some kind of bills. Even though I don't pay bills. But if I had bills, my skills would pay them. Wish I really had that accent. That's fucking adorable. Oh, fuck you and everything you stand for. All right, guess I'll meet you. Oh no, bad idea, bad idea, smart idea. Yeah. Oh, couldn't have. Oh, whatever. Oh, we got a shotgun now, so I'll meet you back there. Yeah, I believe this is where we were up to. All right. So as I said, the guy let me ask him some questions. So I'm like, all right then. The first question I had was about copyright, and I basically just asked him the same... Well, basically just asked him what their stance on copyright was. I read that, you know, I, I said that I read that they were completely zero tolerance, but I read basically, I asked basically what I would have to do uh, about the videos that are flagged or marked um, that have copyrighted content in them that I haven't been given the explicit permission to use. His answer was, you have to delete them. Uh, yeah, that's that's a shitty answer. That's a zero compromise answer, which I don't like. So that's kind of fucked me over. With that, and I mean, I thought about it. I'm like, hmm, well, how many videos will I have to delete? And I went to the copyright notification section in video management, in the video manager on YouTube. There are 50. I have 400 videos. 50 of them are flagged. That's a whole eighth of my channel gone. And one of them was even a talk through. So it's not just stuff that, you know, is without the, the music. And he offered, like, he said this thing, you know, if you've got commentary over it, then you can leave it. It's like, fucking obviously, if you've got commentary, I can leave it. Like, duh! If you've got commentary, you can't fucking hear the music. Like, I'm not. What am I, retarded? God damn it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in with this. I thought there were... Oh, there are. Oh. My bad, there aren't. So yeah, that, that's basically zero tolerance exactly as I predicted. Um... What was the second question I asked? Am I... do I have to like adhere to a schedule or anything, I think was the second one, and the answer was no, which is a good one. That's just in case I have to do like stuff for uni and I can't do YouTube for whatever reason. Third one, was there any like other obligatory shit I had to do, like, you know, fill in some, res uh, you know, feedback form every month or something to let them know how the network going or whatever. Nope. Uh, fourth one... fourth one, fourth one, I forget. I forget what the questions were that I asked. Ah, yes. Um, can I discuss it with you guys? And the answer was yes, I can discuss it with you guys. I just can't discuss the specific details of the contract. I don't have the contract yet, so at this point I can discuss anything this guy's yelling at me. <laughs> and the contract itself, I guess I can't tell you how long it goes for, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Um, it's a very long time. Very, very long time. Let's 
so yeah, I don't know. It's a lot longer than I would have wanted it to be, to be honest. You know, and that that zero col tol zero tolerance copyright fucking dyslexia. See, I told you, I told you, people. I don't know how many times this has happened in this one episode. <laughs> it's just collapsing all around us. I'm going to the uh, my, 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 what's it called? The weapons upgrade guy, by the way. Really cool feature of this game. Not only can you upgrade your weapons by using them. Uh, oh, there was a second gold bolt. Titanium bolt, I beg your pardon. I don't know where it is. Not exactly sure. We'll find it. We'll come across the motherfucker. Don't worry. I'll remember where it is and I'll take you to it. So anyway... Th th this whole zero tolerance copyright thing is going to do a lot of damage to the channel in terms of what I have to take down. I'm going to have to take down a lot of LBP2 levels, a lot of GTA events... A whole bunch of shit. I just don't want to remove it. And I don't see why I have to remove it either. I'm not seeing the reasoning. As I said, I think in the whatever uh, episode of this, yeah, the, well, would have been the partnership one, the LB, the Ratchet and Clank one LP. The reason they don't want it is because they can't make money off it because those videos with copyright material, copyrighted material that I don't um, have the rights to use, already have ads on them. Those ads go to the royalties or money from those ads goes to paying the royalties for the artist. So the income that YouTube gets from the ads goes to paying the royalties to allow me to use the content that I otherwise wouldn't be allowed to use, right? And that money has to be paid because YouTube is a for-profit uh, organization, obviously, they're a business, uh, and the use of that copyrighted material makes them money through the whole other you know, advertisements they run, so legally they are obliged to, play, to pay royalties for the use of that content. I don't have to pay it. YouTube pays it for me. And these motherfuckers are just zero to- I don't know what- I fucking hate zero tolerance. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what the point of it is. Well, none of these are worth it at the moment, because I can't, you know, use any of these weapons. <laughs> kind of pointless. So, um, what I'll do then is I will buy the flux rifle. Zoom in with the pulse right yeah, the sniper. L1 and then press R1. To zoom out, hold L1 that field of view shift. Oh yeah. All right. I used to love like riding around on the on the taxis in this game in some of the later levels when you have, when you can use a taxi to go from place to place, like the the arena on Planet Joba, for example. And I love taking out the the sniper rifle and pretending it was a camera. Oh, you can't buy mods for this gun. Well, that's gay. I mean, I was gonna buy that gun anyway, so. Not a waste of money, but still annoying. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll find this gold bolt. Fuck it, I'll take you with me. I'm pre pretty sure it's this way. So, yeah, the, I just don't like this whole, you can't have any, any. And I mean, the LBP2 levels. I'm not taking the fucking music out just because you want me to. Like, yeah, I just don't like this at all. It really, really turns me off, and you guys are the gonna are gonna be the people affected by this. I'll probably make a separate video addressing this issue. Yeah, I think it's here. Um, a separate video that addresses this problem properly, uh, because I I am really iffy about this, and I don't like the prospect of having to a remove anything from this channel at all, let alone a whole you know, 50 fucking videos of stuff that I've put work into over a very, very long period of time, and B, then I'm going to be locked into this contract for a much longer time period than you might think. As I said, I don't know if I can reveal to you the exact length, but it's longer than you might think. It's a really long fucking time. And I don't know why they'd make it that long. Like, can I not get a fucking trial run or something here? You know, like, at 30 days, and if I don't like it, then you can fuck off? Is that not possible? That sucks. You know? I don't like this... Uh, this rigid attitude these businesses have. 
I mean, and I mean, I can back up my firm stance on the copyright thing, because I mean, this content needs to be there for the games to be complete. For these LBP2 levels to be complete, the music is part of the level. I can take the music out of GTA, because the majority of the game is still there, the, the, the shooting and the dying and the blood, you know, that's what you're there for. But LB, an LBP2 level has an atmosphere, has, a, has an aroma, an aura, and the music is fucking part of that. It's part of the life, man, you know? It's just... It's just vibrancy, man. You gotta have it, man. It's life. It's real. And if it's not there, then it's not real, you know? It ju you, you, you're just killing my soul and my dreams, man. You're just crushing the, you're crushing the vibe. You're crushing the karma, man. It's just... It's just burning me up inside hurt me, man. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Take from that what you will. Leave your opinion if you got one. And I will catch you guys later.